Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for being here. Your time is so appreciated and I'm glad to spend this time with you because we're talking about magic, right? We're talking about magic. I like magic. You like magic. We're doing a magic review. Yeah. Time well spent. But before we get started, I want to tell you about a new feature here at Magic Orthodoxy. It's up there in the community tab. Got a new community tab on the channel. Kind of acts like a Facebook wall or a Twitter wall. It's kind of like a feed, its own feed. And if you click the join button that's down there at the bottom underneath uh, this frame, uh, if you click the join button, you'll have access to that community channel. And right now the community channel has about seven videos on it. And I'm going to add several videos to it every single week. And this is just my way of doing even more content, sharing my rants, my raves, my ideas, uh, bonus videos, and of course, magic. Today, we're gonna look at a stage trick, a parlor trick. Uh, this is Food To Go from George Iglesias and Twister Magic. Okay, so what is Food To Go? Uh, Food To Go is a menu. The prop is a menu. It's a three panel uh, board menu, and it's got graphics on both sides, it's got an exterior graphic that the audience sees when you walk out, and then it has an interior graphic, three panel graphic, uh, that uh, you end up flipping around to show to the audience. And so I've had this trick for a couple of weeks now, and I haven't reviewed it yet because I've actually been using it on stage. Uh, for the past uh, weekend, I did four shows in a row, back to back to back to back. Here's some footage of me on stage in front of hundreds of people uh, performing Food To Go. And I did this, I did this trick every single night and it was great, it worked great, it was a wonderful trick. Um, stage tested, right? And basically how the trick goes is uh, I walked out on stage with the menu in hand and I talked about the different food items that were available uh, to us as as a cast, and then I flipped it around and showed the three options. So you have salad, and you have a cheeseburger with french fries, or you can choose a chicken wrap. And then basically you call out to the audience and have them tell you, you know, what they would order. And you know, people shout all kinds of things, but you kind of gravitate towards the person that says hamburger and french fries, and you say, you know, me too, that's, you know, that's my favorite. You turn the menu back around, and then you turn it into a little triangle, like a little portal, and then when you reach in, you can show that your hand's empty, there's nothing up your sleeve. I did it with a shirt uh, that kind of pulled up where the, uh, the cuffs held tight against my forearms. And I reached inside and pulled out a burger. Pulled out a warm, real burger from Whataburger and asked who wanted it, tossed it out into the audience. People like you reached up with their hands to grab for it, it was fun. I asked the gentleman, you know, smell it, make sure it's a real burger. People said, yeah, and then I would say, oh yeah, you know, the picture graphic. Also had french fries, we should have french fries too. You can't have a hamburger without french fries. I would reach down inside and pull out a box of fries as well. And that one I didn't, th I didn't throw that one. I kind of looked for somebody down in the front row that, could that I could just hand it to. And I said, hey, share those with everybody in your aisle. Then after that, I spun the menu back around again. And I said, uh, you know how Burger King right now has the impossible Whopper? I said, I truly believe that I have the most impossible burger. And when I spun the menu back around again, the graphic that had the hamburger and french fries had vanished. 
because you had pulled it out. So it was kind of like a kicker. I was able then to spin the menu all the way around on both sides to show the audience there was nothing there. Took my bow, walked off the stage. Let's talk about this trick. First up, I wanna say that the menu comes exactly like I described, as a food menu. But George Iglesias will walk you through uh, how to turn that menu into something else. You could turn it into a snacks menu where you gave away a Pringles can and a candy bar, or you could turn it into a technology menu where you pulled out a set of headphones. So there's options, and I'll talk a little bit more about maybe why you'd pick one of the other options over hamburger a little later. What are you gonna get when you buy this? Uh, you pay your 50 bucks, it comes to you in the mail, and it's just gonna be uh, a cello exterior wrap with some paper inserts, and then you'll get the prop and a little business card that'll lead you out to the internet to give you access to the 47 minute video. Is it what I thought? Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what I thought. I mean, I didn't exactly know how the menu would fold and transform, right? But I knew you were just hiding the item against your chest in a way that, you know, as you're doing it and moving the menu around, you just continue to hide that panel and the audience can't tell. As far as angles go, I think this works great for stage and parlor. And it was fine with me being elevated on a stage, but if I was doing it in a parlor setting down on the floor with them, I don't think it would make any difference because the menu is three panels and you hold it on the left and the right. And it makes this shape where it's actually blocking the center, it's blocking uh, what the audience is looking at. And I just wore a black shirt, which made kind of like a black art thing happening. So if anybody did catch a view of something back there, it would blend against my black shirt and they would probably just think they were staring at my shirt. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, you got George and he's filming with a mounted camera. He's got some magic posters behind him. He has a slight accent, but it doesn't get in the way at all. As far as what he's gonna teach you on this video, uh, the first thing is he does credit UF Grant for this effect. It's a 1945 trick called Samples and he gives you a little history and he then basically goes into the setup and he then walks you through the performance. He's gonna give you one behind the shoulder shot, which to me was the best one because that's what I needed. I needed to see what it would look like from my angle. It didn't help me so much to see it from the audience perspective. I wanted to see it from behind. And so that was where I kind of spent all of my time mirroring his movement until I got it down. He is gonna give you three different handlings though. Uh, one of them is called the Z handling, uh, and that's the one I did. And then he gives you the link to the artwork for the other menus. So the snacks menu and the technology menu. And really it's the same trick, right? He's gonna walk through those other two as well as a performance and show you what they look like. But the trick is exactly the same. Just the graphics and what you pull out is different. And then of course, he's gonna walk you through the arts and crafts to build those menus. Is it well made? A strong uh, chipboard. The graphics are really bright. They pop uh, in the video uh, that my wife shot of me. I mean, you can clearly see the graphics even though she was in the most rearest part of the auditorium. So yeah, I think graphics wise, they hold up, they're nice, big and bright. and Everybody can see them. As far as how much practice it requires, um, really the practice is in remembering the sequences. Almost every single time you turn it around or fold it, you're doing a different sequence. You're not doing the same thing over and over again. You're actually doing three different stages and each one is its own movement. So it's you just remembering the order of that and how they go. All right, positives, what are the positives? Food to go is the perfect trick for stage, parlor, and kids parties. This trick combines my two most favorite pastimes, magic and eating burgers. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? Hey, I'm always gonna tell you the good and the bad. I'm gonna tell you both sides of every situation so that you can make up your own mind and buy the magic that's gonna work for you. Uh, I love this trick, I really did, and I got compliments afterwards uh, from lots of people, even people that would come up and say, I really don't know how you did that. And, and so uh, it, it got me the reactions I wanted. Negatives as far as a performer goes, the things that I didn't, the thing I didn't love, and I, I really don't know how you would work around this, um, I drove out to the fast food joint, right? I drove out to Whataburger uh, maybe an hour or two before every performance because I had to be backstage and had to be ready for my act. So that only means that warm food <laughs> doesn't stay warm, especially french fries, right? French fries go cold fast. And my workaround was, who cares, right? I'm throwing food into the audience. 
It's getting a laugh. Nobody else in the audience knows that it's not warm. Just the person who receives it, right? So it, it, would it be a cool effect if the food came out piping hot? Sure. Could you, you know, go backstage and nuke it right before you go up on stage? I guess. But then you're also going to be handling hot food on stage and some of that grease might get on your hands. I don't know if you want to do that. So it kind of worked in my favor that it was cold. Um, but if you're not doing the snacks menu and you're not doing the technology menu, you're kind of handing out cold food, right? Yeah. Cold hamburger, not so bad. Cold french fries, ugh. Is it worth your money? It is 50 bucks. It is 50 bucks. And so I would say this is price for the working professional. But uh, I think this transcends, right? This is like, I did it on stage, but I think this would be great for parlor magic. Great for kids parties. Like to, if you did the snacks menu and you were able to give like a candy bar and a, you know, a Coca-Cola to the birthday boy, I think that'd be great, right? So ch change it over to the snacks menu and pull out cold stuff. I mean, I think it'd be easier to keep a soda cold, like in your car or someplace, like in a cooler, than it would to be to keep food hot. That said, who would like this? Everybody I've been saying, parlor, stage, uh, kids magic. This is gonna be for the working professional, someone who makes their living from performing magic. All right, that's everything I can say about food to go from Georgia Glacius, Twister Magic. I, of course, wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.